Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to update your check rein jailbreak. Now, this tutorial will persist into the future, meaning that it doesn't matter which version of check rein you're coming from or going to. This guide will work regardless of that and regardless of which firmware you're on. Yeah. Uh, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. We're going to get into it, but first I also wanted to mention that again, Chakrain does not support A12 or A13 devices. So the iPhone XS and iPhone 11 series are unfortunately left out. They're never going to be supported by this jailbreak, but new jailbreaks will come for you. Just know that. And down below in the description, I will have my jailbreak status checker page specifically for A12 and A13. Bookmark that and check back regularly for updates. Also, this does not include support for Windows yet, and you do obviously need a computer. At this point, you need a Mac, but this guide will work once the Windows version is released. Um, but as of recording this video, Windows is not supported yet. It's coming. We're going to talk about that more at a later date. If you're waiting on either Windows support or a new jailbreak for A12 and A13, just be sure to subscribe. I'm going to keep you guys updated every single step of the way. And finally, this guide is not for how to update to a new version of iOS with your jailbreak and then re-jailbreak. This is merely how to update your version of CheckRain. Because earlier today, let's go ahead and launch up Twitter. The CheckRain Twitter account tweeted out, quote, CheckRain beta 0.9.3 is out with significant improvements. Now again, this will also work for future versions of CheckRain past today's current 0.9.3, but if we go ahead and visit their page and we look at the release note, again, this does contain very important fixes. First up, it fixes an issue where biometrics did not work for some users, fixes an issue where touchscreens became unresponsive, fixes an issue where the loader may not have appeared on the home screen, fixes an issue where the iPad smart keyboard did not work, fixes an issue where the fast charging functionality did not work on some newer devices, fixes an issue where the Taptic engine did not work on some devices, fixes an issue where battery settings did not load for some users, and detects a case where the user may have an OTA or over the air update downloaded, which caused issues for some users. And also the loading mechanism for Substrate has been completely rewritten from the ground up in this beta to improve stability of the device when it's in its jailbroken state. So fantastic stuff here, guys. And it even includes an option to boot into no substrate mode to utilize this functionality. All you have to do is just check the no substrate mode option inside the app. So with that said, we're going to get into how to update right now. All I want you guys to do is visit the very first link down below in the description. It's just going to be my jailbreak tutorial on best tech info. And then you can scroll all the way down to the bottom for the download link. And of course, if you guys don't know how to utilize check rain properly, I highly recommend reading through that guide. I go into great detail on all the steps you need to take, ranging from how to get this thing open on your Mac to how to enter DFU mode and more. So. Once you're on the check rain page, just click on where it says get the beta now, and then click where it says download for Mac OS. Obviously in the future when newer versions are released that support Linux and Windows, you'll click the corresponding option for your OS. And when you downloaded it, it's gonna be in a .dmg or disk image format. All I want you guys to do is just open it to mount it, and then you'll receive this window here inside of Finder. Just drag CheckRain over to your Applications folder, and you'll receive this prompt if you already have CheckRain installed on your Mac. It's going to say, an older item named CheckRain already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the newer one you're moving? Click on Replace. And if this is the first time for you, all you need to do is just drag CheckRain over into your applications folder. You might need to authenticate it, but in most cases you don't unless you have those parameters set up on your machine. And after it's in your applications folder, you need to open up applications and you need to launch CheckRain from within inside said folder. But you'll notice that we do receive this prompt here. It says CheckRain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. So this is just default with Mac OS. It's a great way and a great security precaution to prevent users from downloading anything malicious. CheckRain is not malicious whatsoever, but it's just, again, a standard Apple protocol. So we can go ahead and click cancel, and I want you guys to load up system preferences. Inside of system preferences, you're going to go to security and privacy, and then you're going to click right here where it says open anyway. And then you're going to click on open again, 
and check range should open up for you now. If it doesn't, just launch it from the applications folder once more, and you should see up at the top that we're on the latest version now, whichever version it happens to be at the time of watching this tutorial. So now I want you guys to connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable. It cannot be through a third-party accessory or even an official Apple accessory like a dock. It has to be connected directly to USB because that's how it exploits the device's boot ROM directly connected through USB. So it's detected my device already and we're going to hit start. Now you can be either already in your jailbroken state like I am right now or you can just be rebooted into your normal non-jailbroken state. It doesn't matter. The end result will be the same. You're going to update check rain this way. So we're going to click on start. We don't need to do either of these two options unless you want to, the verbose boot or the safe mode. Mode. We're not using safe mode this time around, but for fun, let's just go ahead and tick off verbose boot. And then I'm going to click on start and hit next, and it's going to put the device into recovery mode. And this is just done to prevent corruption. So let's go ahead and wait for that. You can see we're inside of recovery mode now. All I want you guys to do is just hold down the side button until the screen goes black. Let go and then start holding the side and volume down buttons together for about three seconds. Release the side button and continue holding volume down until it has detected that your device is in DFU mode. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're holding down the side button. It's gonna turn black in just a second. Release, side and volume down. Release the side button, continue holding volume down. All right, and now it says that our device has been detected inside of DFU mode. So we can go ahead and click on start now. And it's just going through the exploitation process now. And after it comes back up, even though you are using the new version of CheckRain and you're already updated, I want you guys to then launch Cydia and install any and all updates available inside of Cydia. How awesome is this, guys? This is a brand new update for the version that we're talking about in today's video, verbose boot. So cool, such a throwback. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock here and we're going to grab the dock and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Now we are fully up to date with CheckRain. You're not going to need to launch up CheckRain and do anything related to installing or reinstalling Cydia because we should already have it. The only thing that we're doing in today's tutorial is just updating our jailbreak. All of those issues that we talked about previously and any new bugs that are corrected in the future will be rectified after you update your CheckRain jailbreak through the method that we just went over. And now inside of Cydia, as I talked about previously, you'll see that we do have an available change Let's go ahead and hit upgrade at the top, followed by confirm. Remember, any and all available updates I want you guys to install through Cydia. Definitely check back regularly because it can improve the stability and performance of your device as well, especially if the developers of the jailbreak themselves issue updates to fundamental or core packages such as Substrate or anything else. All right, so you can hit return to Cydia or respring whatever it happens to be on your device at the time of updating. And there you go. How easy is that? That's how you update CheckRain to the latest version. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. I'm going to keep you guys fully in the loop for everything pertaining to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. And before I go, I just wanted to say that up next, you'll see a teaser for our top tweaks video for iOS 13. Definitely check that out. It'll be linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. These are some of the best tweaks that you can currently install on your iOS 13 check rain jailbreak. What's up YouTube? I hope you guys have been enjoying the iOS 13 jailbreak. Anyhow, we're back today with another Top Tweaks video. We have quite a few in store, so definitely stick around for the entire list. Well, starting things out here on my iPhone 8 Plus, we have Gestures 13 to bring the iPhone 10 Gestures to the iPhone 8 and any other iOS device that doesn't have a notch. You can access multitasking by swiping up. That's also how you unlock the device. Your control center is now in the top right, something like that. Uh, pretty much every single gesture that you have on an iPhone 10 
now you have it on every other device. And the only other tweak that I wanted to show you guys running on this device is called Clean Home Screen. Now all of my icons don't have any icon labels, my page dots are hidden. If you guys take a look at my lock screen, it's super simplistic. And this is all achieved with one tweak, again called Clean Home Screen. Well, let's move things over to the iPhone 10 for the rest of this video. Next.